After the shooting on Wednesday, many parents, students and teachers in western Montana are struggling with how to cope or even help others deal with yet this another tragedy we've seen in schools. But how will you be able to tell if your child needs to talk about it? Dr. Robert Valine, who's a neuropsychologist, says look carefully for changes in your child's behavior, mood, appetite or sleep habits. Ask yourself, are they withdrawing from activities they would normally love? Are they having nightmares? Are they anxious? Ask yourself the same things too. Adults will exhibit the same symptoms as children, but Dr. Valine said the only difference is adults can hide it better. Before starting the conversation, parents should do their research and make sure to pick the time that you plan to talk about this carefully. Choose a time when you and your kids would normally communicate during breakfast, on the car ride home, after dinner, before bedtime, or any other time you might normally catch up. And make sure you choose a time where you have nowhere else to be for at least a few hours. We want to really listen, listen, and then listen some more. Now, having said that, we also want to be honest with them because a lot of these things don't make sense. And it's important for them to see that we can struggle with this and we can provide honest answers. And sometimes those answers are even, I don't know. Um, I don't know why bad things happen in the world all of the time. Dr. Verlaine says having open communication makes it more likely your kids will talk about not only what they're afraid of, but they also may open up about any suspicious activity going on in their own schools. We'll have more from Dr. Verlaine coming up tonight at